Good afternoon, Chairman Parker, and members of the Board of Environmental Protection. My name is Brenda Commander. I'm from Holton, Maine. I'm the elected chief of the Holton Band of Mousy Indians, a federally recognized Indian tribe, um, and we're located in Aroostook County. I am testifying in opposition to a state proposal of mining rules. And I'm representing um, our enrollment uh, consisting of over 1,500 tribal members. And we have acquired 1,600 acres of federal trust lands in the county. in Holton, Littleton, Monticello, and now Ashland. We have built our community along our aboriginal homelands, the Meduxnikeg River, the place where our ancestors once lived, hunted, gathered food and medicines, held ceremonies, and sustained our cultural ties to the environment. All of these traditions we continue today. Samaguan, the Maliseet word for water, is critical for our very existence. Recently, we, we purchased a parcel, a water bottling plant. It was the Garfield Plantation Bottling Company in Ashland and is eight miles from Bald Mountain. And with the hopes of bringing more employment to um, the area and also employment and helping the economy of, of our tribal um, community and government. So we're very concerned about that. It's, it's wells on the, on the property, um, spring water, and I've heard that Maine has, uh, is one of the states that has the cleanest water in the world. And um, c this mining um, would contaminate the water that's close by in, a, in our natural state. I mean, the people who are wanting mining, they're wanting to, be, to get rich. They're not from Maine, they're not native to Maine. And you know, we're already rich. We're rich in natural resources and um, everything where we live. Um, you know, we're, we're rich in that sense uh, right now. The effects of mining would lead to devastation to all that is important to our practices, our traditions, and our ways of life. Mining and mining exploration, especially near water, could disturb or more likely destroy invaluable, even sacred, cultural resources. Cultural resources such as the medicines that we currently use, the food that we pick along the water and the river and the wildlife, all part of our diet, all the things that our ancestors have taught us to use to, to try to live off the land. And that um, has sustained us throughout all of this time. In past testimony, we have asked that public notice include tribal notification. Tribal consultation be required re regarding tribal, historical, archaeological resources that would have a direct effect by mining activities. Consistent and meaningful consultation when and where state decisions have the potential to impact the cultural, land, natural resources, economy, government, and the Wabanaki tribes would demonstrate the willingness of the state to ensure its actions do not impair the health and the welfare of Wabanaki people. I'm not sure if you know, but our life expectancy rate is 55 years of old age. It used to be 45. So we've been working hard over the past 36 years to increase the life expectancy of our members. And it's still extremely low. It's probably one of the lowest life expectancies of any peoples in the state um, because of our diets and, and everything that changed for us. All of the things that we're trying to bring back, we've worked hard to do. Um, salmon, we're working hard to restore salmon and fish habitat in the river. Um, we're ac actually working on an international level 
with um, the Maliseet nations in Canada and with the Canadian government on transboundary issues. And so we have been like, working extremely hard. And that's why this will really affect us. We're very, very concerned. All tribal lands be included in the list of resources provided a buffer from mining activity. And tribes be eligible for intervener status. Given the potential for significant impacts to our previous precious resources of great importance to tribal tradi traditions and practices. None of these requests have been honored in this latest proposal. Although I understand mining standards in the proposed rules provide a buffer between mining and lands which the state of Maine values, yet there is no such protection for our lands which represent the last remnants of our homeland where we can continue our hunter-gathering traditions. Education is key. I encourage you to gain a better understanding of why protecting the environment is critically important to the Maliseet people and all of the Mal Wabanaki tribes. We invite you, if you'd like, to visit our community to learn about us firsthand. We will also be submitting more detailed comments in writing. Will Ewan, thank you for this opportunity to submit testimony. Thank you. Thank you.